These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns among various types of irregular verbs in English so that you can use them correctly. Verbs like choose. This video will help you see relationships among various types of irregular verbs in English. The key to understanding irregular verbs is to look for and notice the patterns. Up to now, we've been dealing with verbs that end in a T or a D in the past or the past participle. Now we're going to introduce a new pattern, and that's verbs that end with an N or an EN ending. Verbs like choose take on an EN ending in the past participle. They also take on the same sound shift in the past and the past participle. Let's look at some examples. Verbs like choose shift to the same vowel sound in the past and the past participle. The difference is that in the past there is no un ending, but in the past participle there is an un or en ending. So we have choose, chose, chosen, freeze, froze, frozen, speak, spoke, spoken, steal, stole, stolen. Now an interesting one is the verb swell. In the past participle we have swollen, but in the past we usually use the ed or regular verb ending. Not many people will say swole. Most people will say swelled. Now there's another thing interesting about some of these words, and that is what we call the silent e. If you look at the base form of choose, there is an e at the end of the word. However, this e does not have a sound of its own. It's what we call the silent e. Now what happens is when we add the ing ending, we have to drop the silent e. So that happens in words like choose, to choosing, freeze, to freezing, wake, to waking, and weave, to weaving where the final E in the base form is dropped before the ING ending is added in the ING form. Now there are some more verbs that follow the same pattern in that they use the same vowel sound in both the past and the past participle. However, in the past, there is no EN ending, but in the past participle there is. Let's look at some examples. Get, got, gotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. And then the last three. Bite, bit, bitten. Hide, hid, hidden. And slide, slid, slid. Not many people will say slidden. They simply use the past and the past participle form slid.